Hey guys, what is up? This is Sarthak back again with another cool video. In this video, I am going to tell you how you could extract weather data from Google using Python. So if you search for some weather info on Google, like so, you can see that Google fetches the data from weather.com as Google does not have its own weather API. But we will scrape this website using Python and will not use weather.com's API. So we will have to install two modules out of which one is the request module. So on this website, you can read more about this module. I will leave a link to this website in the description box as well. The second module we will need will be beautiful soup for. So let's move on and install these modules. Open up your command prompt and then type in pip install request. So as you can see, it says requirement already satisfied because I already have this installed on my PC. So now let's move ahead and install the second module as well. I'll just clear the screen and then type in pip install beautiful soup 4. Same is the case with this module as well. I have already installed it. So after you've installed both these modules, you can close your command prompt and open the folder where you want to work with your Python file. So I'm going to create a new Python file. I'll just simply call it script. So to write the code, I am going to use sublime text three. You can use any code editor of your choice. So first of all, we'll import both these modules. Then we'll ask the user to input the city name, which we will append to the URL and then make request using that URL. Then we'll get the raw data. After we've got the raw data, we can extract it using beautiful soup. Then we'll format that data. And then finally we can print. So now we are ready to code. Firstly, we will import both these modules. Once we've imported these modules, we can take the input from the user and then append it to the URL and then finally pass in with the get function. If you print the soup variable now, you will see that it returns a lot of data with HTML tags, but we don't need that much data. So we will find the necessary stuff with the help of find function. And then we will pass the name and the class name inside that find function to get the useful stuff.
So now let's move on with the code. So we are going to create a variable list div, which will be having all the div tags with particular class names and index five of this list will have all the required data, which we need. So let's do this. So now we have all the data and we have done all the formatting and trimming with this data and we can now simply just print this out to see the output. So there we go guys, our web scraping script which extracts weather data from Google is now ready to use. So now let's just see the output. Save the file, close the editor, while holding the shift key on your keyboard, right click using your mouse and click on open command window here. Now just simply run this python file. So I'll just simply type in script.py and then hit enter. It will ask you for the city name. I will enter, let's say Lucknow for now. So I figured out that this error is just because of a small typo. You don't need to worry about that. On line number 20 over here, this D is in lower case but it should be actually capitalized. So change that to capital D or uppercase D and then save your file. Now you won't see any errors. Now let's run this program again to check whether it works perfectly fine or not. So I'll just simply run the Python file and then it will ask you for the city name. I will simply just type in Lucknow. There we go. This is the data we have got. It says temperature 33 degrees Celsius time Monday 6.02 PM sky description haze. I don't know why, but this other data variable over here is not actually printing something meaningful. It's just a full stop or dot, I guess. So maybe I'll fix that later on. I don't know. You can try running the script for more locations as well. So let me just do that. Let's say New Delhi. There we go. 
let's try it once more. Uh, let's search for Mumbai's weather conditions. Uh, let's try more. <laughs> Dehradun this time. So that was it for this video guys. This is how simply you can use Python to scrape the web and extract weather data from Google. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit a like down below and I will see you in the next one.